this green color indicates big player's transaction. So you can see from here, small player maybe you can ignore it, but big player is quite significant. If you think that big player already done a lot of research, they think that they want to trade it at this price, either they want to exit or sell, you can read it from here. So the answer is, um, you can check it from third, third button, it will show all the tickers, okay, all the tickers on the left and a composition, a uh, 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 combination of uh, a chart over here. So you can see, you can read all. Oh, notice that this is uh, what you call a volume chart at the bottom. You can see there's a huge volume happen here. You refer to the left side. It shows at 4:50 p.m. There's a very big transaction, 30, 37, 37,000 unit transacted here. So that means this is a big player transacted here. So you have to take note. This price might be an entry or an exit price for some fund managers or some or some you know wealthy individuals so if, if you want to trade do trading please make sure you jot down this uh what they call this very important price because some of them they already did research they think that this price is very good price to enter or exit okay so we might use this as a reference for ourselves so this on the fourth button it showed uh differently okay present uh different data it shows all these uh what they call all these um you can see from here sorry uh you can see this um different prices all the prices is summary in what it quantifies shows in quantities all the buy buying interest that means the buying all the buyers willing to buy from the sell side let's say the buy percentage is 100 percent that means all the hundred uh 1924 lots are bought from the seller 100 percent from the seller you can see from here 100 so let's say you can see from here the 747, uh, 747 Ringgit Malaysia, the, this price range got 75% uh, buy rate. That means 75% of these 8,888 lots are transacted by buying the sell seller price, okay? By buying desperately the seller price. Okay? Then the balance 25% is transacted on the buy side. That means some people eventually they queue it here and then queue it at 747 and some sellers sold it to them. So this is uh, how we study the, the B percentage. B percentage, that means the percentage taken place, how many percentage of this volume taken place on the right side. Let's say the, the balance is 25%, that means the rest are taken place on the left side. That means people desperately selling off. On the right side, that means people are desperately buying. So you can see how desperate people are buying at what price people are more desperate to buy and what at what price people are more desperate to exit so you can study from here this is also a very good chart to study the market sentiment the emotions of different traders um, today uh, trading maybank stocks so this is how useful it is so from here this is how we see how we use all these uh, buttons in case you are asking so other than that you also can look into indices indices what do you mean by indices indices is a composition of um, you know you can see from here these are all the stocks this is the listing indices and then you click listing these are all the indicators indicators um sorry um the the indices okay indices let's say like like klci klci is compositions of top 30 largest company in, listed in busa so like Sandabi, petrochemical and tenaga national these are all okay included in this klci so you can see once you double click it okay, you can see all the contributors all the gainers these are all the component stocks that went up this today and these are all the component stocks that went down so you can see more stocks are going up today so that means the share price i mean the the, the klci index are likely to go up so from here you can you can see it. so of course you can see there are also other types of indices to me it's quite useful for me to study all these uh you know sectors and industry um what they call indices whereby you can you can click on properties you can study oh okay these are all the you know all the property giants that contributed to a rise in property shares today so you can see okay actually today property price i mean property shares price also went up so you can study from here so basically today is quite a good day because most of the sectors are going up like plantations you know energies and so on okay sometimes some of the industry go up some of the industry go down the same day so you can see from here you can understand how the money flows where the money flows so flow into uh, which sectors which, which industry so if you are going to invest in a particular industry 
this is one of the reference that you can you can refer so you can just click indices listing and then you can just click you can select representative okay you can you can, you can representation sorry so you can see you can either see like you know in charts or in tables it's up to you so from here these are the basic things so if you want to go deeper you want to you know you want to develop your skills in technical analysis or fundamental analysis technical analysis wise that means you are chart readers you read charts okay how are you going to read charts okay a particular stock chart so from here you just right click any stock there's a what you call sorry you just click the stock and then you just click here stock as a technical analysis so we will look you this chart this is the day chart Maybank so you, at the bottom here there's a scroll bar you can just scroll it and check the historical price how the price move in the past alright so you can also switch from day chart to week chart that means this is a 7 day chart so every bar it represent a week so you can see even looking at the week chart the share price gone down for a lot so you can see from here or you can go for month chart also can or you want to look for higher frequency on five minute charts nah, th these are all the five minute charts that means all the charts all the bars represents five minutes okay every five minutes you generate one bar so these are useful for you to you know refer your technical analysis all right so you can see from here all right so this is some of the basic things that you can you can you can you know play around and with your what you call this platform so if you want to refer your account status all the monies and everything maybe you can just go by here so let let me see so this is just a what you call one of the client so you can see here is a opening trust account amount this customer he doesn't um, you know bank in any money otherwise let's say you bank in 10k it will show 10k at here sometimes it will show a negative sign but just ignore it because the uh, the negative sign is just for our back end you know reference so you don't have to worry when you see there's a negative sign here so from here you can see there's a opening trust you can see there's a available limit okay so for some account user if your account is a limit account that means sometimes you put 10k here our company will give you another you know 30k to trade trade first prepaid uh, postpaid sorry postpaid so you pay later t plus two two days later after you buy you can settle two days later you don't have to settle first so this is it works like a credit card so let's say you only deposit 10k cash but you got 30k limits to trade first maybe you want to trade um short term very short term 30k today and then exit the next day then will be fine let's say you make money within two or three two two days t plus two you make money then it will show a contra gain here otherwise let's say you make losses within two days okay before you deposit the money in then you show a contra losses over here so the contra losses you will deduct your capital the trust amount here likewise for the contra gain it will be credited to here as well so this is how it works so this are the, the basic system and you can see from here sales proceed due okay the sales proceed due that means once you already own the share after two days you top up all the money you own the share own the share after you own the shares then maybe one or two weeks later you want to sell after you sell it the share it won't immediately go back to your trust the amount won't immediately go back to your trust it will appear here as sales proceed for two days later on they only will go back to your trust so only if you want to withdraw make sure the share uh, the, the cash come back to this column then only you can withdraw so this is the simple thing let's let's say you buy you also take two days to deduct from your cash okay so the same thing when you sell you also take two days to credit back this is uh, the simple thing so of course you want to refer it on time on time so you can refer my account account status all right so there are also other other function here like the contracts you can go for you can search back some of the contracts that you have been trading your your purchases your sales you sell some shares and everything you want to you want to see the breakdowns the brokerage fee and everything you just you know put down the date then you just click search it then you will appear you will show all the pdf you can download it you can see all the breakdowns all the brokerage fee you know stamp duties and things like that so it will show you in a detailed way so this is what they call contracts okay contra is just um you can also display okay all the contra losses and gain in the past few months so um you also can withdraw your money trust or you can contact me to withdraw 
for withdrawal. You can just click trust, select the date. Maybe you can just put one or two days. Then you can the system will try to check whether there are trust available for you to withdraw it. So if there is um uh, some share uh some money, let's say ten k, okay, already shown in your you know in your opening trust amount. Just what you need to do is you just click trust and then you just key in the date. Maybe you know you just bracket it lah. Maybe one or two days until today. Then you click OK, go. Then it will show the money. Then you can just click the withdrawal. Then our back end officer will proceed for you. Otherwise, you can just manually do it by telling me. Okay, I will send you. I will send them a letter. Okay, uh, an email to notify them. Then they will proceed it. So this is uh some of the you know basic functions. Of course, you want to refer your portfolios. You can click on the portfolios. Of course, I won't reveal it. But um because uh some of my clients privacy. Okay, so you just click portfolio, portfolio inside portfolio. There are some you know your positions, all your. Stock holdings, the profit and losses. It's quite simple. It's quite direct. Okay, so there, there's also tools. These are also the tools. Of course, I won't go deeper because these are quite, you know, quite useful tools. You can play around. There are some research here. Okay, the analysis every day they will, you know, publish some research articles here. Okay, you can just check it from here. So these are the basic things. Every time you, you just when you want to, you know, finish everything, you just click log out. Make sure you log out. This is the standard procedure. How you going to trade? And if you need any assistance, please uh, feel free to call me or drop me a message so I can assist you. Hope you understand what I'm trying to um, you know present it to you, and hope you make money from the market lah.